This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. Hi everyone, this is Brandon Burgess with Irrigator Technical Training School. and. Today I'm going to go over simple programming and manual on and off on a Rainmaster. So here's my Rainmaster. So I hope you enjoy. So let's go ahead and start with manual, turning on a valve manually. So I go ahead and hit manual. So it's asking me programs or stations. So I can hit program so it will cycle through my entire program. Or I can hit program here or I can hit stations. By hitting stations I'm gonna go ahead and select with station. So I'm gonna say you know what I want number two on enter and I'm gonna put the amount of time I'm gonna say two minutes hit enter again. So as you can see my light comes on since I told the controller that I had flow it's telling me zero gallons per minute because there is not a flow going through this. This is a training. So as my time counts down it's it's jumping between gallons per minute and my time. So you can see as the time goes down, it'll turn off. If you're manually turning on a valve or a station and you go, hey, whoa, 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 wait, I don't want that. You go ahead and just hit quit. By hitting quit, it turns it right off. Okay, so let's get into programming. So for programming, we go ahead and just simply hit program. So it says program one, I hit enter and it takes me back to my original screen. So I'm just letting the controller know, hey, I'm in program number one. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit water days. So water days is what days can I water? So now I have zero lights coming on. You notice here at the top we got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now on my keypad here I have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So let's take a wild guess. How does this work? So let me see. I hit one, enter, oh, Sunday light comes on. So that means I'm gonna water Sunday. So this is how easily it, we, we set this up. Now, you know, you gotta know your mowing schedule, how the, when the guys are gonna be there. You don't wanna water before that or the day of. So let's say my guys get there on Monday, so I'm gonna do Sunday, Tuesday, Friday. Right, three days a week. And I'll water again on Sunday. And it's to take it off, I'm like, you know what? I don't want to water on Sunday anymore. I hit one and then hit clear. Now you see the, the light came off, so I took that day off. So setting up the water days is pretty simple. To get out, we just hit quit. Now the next thing we need to know is start time. So I just hit start time. So this controller can go up to five start times. Okay. We just want we're just gonna set up one because we're doing one program. So I'm at 000 AM. So I'm gonna say, you know what, I want to start watering at 315 AM. If I wanted to switch it to PM, I hit the AM PM button. And I just simply hit enter. Make sure that you hit enter, otherwise it will not save. So now it's going to start time two. If you want to put it in, you can. If not, we'll just hit quit. So now we know what days of water, what time to start. With our water days put on here and our start times, now we need to know stations. So station one, enter, run time. So how long am I gonna run this for? I'll put 12 minutes. Since we put cycle and soak on, it's got to be my maximum run time. So, to figure that out in the field, simply just turn on your station. To find that out in the field, just simply turn on your station, time it either on your watch or on your phone. Now everyone has a phone with a timer. And we want to let it run until we start seeing puddling or runoff other than overspray. So we know that the soil, hey, it's reached maximum capacity. We time that. Now I want to set my maximum time to that value. 
So let's say seven minutes. Okay. And then it's asking me my soak time, so I want to wait 30 minutes before it waters again. So that's all set for program one. So to kind of go back a little bit, cycling and soaking. So again, did you notice that I put my, for my station, I put 12 minutes. But for my maximum time, I did 17. So you might need to water more than your maximum, which is fine because during the summer it gets really, really hot. So in that case, what will happen is we'll run for seven minutes, then it'll go and cycle through. It'll wait 30 minutes before it comes back. And in this case, it'll do another five minutes. Okay. So that's how you do. We'll just, you can go through, do station two, station three, and follow the prompt. So that's pretty much it. So we went over manual watering days. We went over pro, how to get into a program. Uh, what time to start and then programming a station with cycle and soak. So hope you enjoyed this Again, this is Brandon Burgess with Irrigator Technical Training School, and I'll catch you guys on the next video